my god! Ling do ling do ling. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode two hundred. I hate your guts. Look at that. <laughs> Yes, Cross will be in the arena tonight. We're back live for episode 291. Yeah. It continues. What's up, everyone? Hope everyone's doing all right. It's Thursday night. It is time for another episode of NAW. Let's cross our fingers. And uh, hope everything's going all right. Cross, come on. What we're doing tonight? You're you're back, and this is how it's gonna be. <sighs> Trevor redeeming for DNA title match. Nerd cred strands are back on. Do you want to start a call with me? I sure do. Thanks for the host. What's going on, everyone? First match kicking things off is for the Twitch Championship. DK, don't worry, you get yours. You just need an opponent. We need a female to go against you for the vacant Twitch Championship. So that'll be happening next Tuesday. So please, someone either redeem nerd cred and put someone against DK for that belt, or someone be that stream boss in the top left of your screen at the end of the show. Thanks for the host, DK. Again, get your votes in. Twitch Championship on the line. The vacant Twitch Championship is the card on Facebook. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. It is there. Get your votes in. Match one. Twitch Championship. Coming up first. Kick off the show. Let's do this. Back in the NAW arena here. We are just nine episodes away from Acumania 3. Nine. Making his way to the ring. Olympian Fields, weighing in at 216 pounds, Psycho Hunter. The Psycho is back. Do you want to be featured at Acumania 3 this year? Well, I sure hope you do. You better be working on some rivalries, some storylines, and some things that you want to see on that card. We have to make it the biggest, the best, and the baddest card out there for episode 300. And yeah, Sly is back in the right uniform. And MX is too. All is right so far. MX returning the arena here. Opportunity tonight for multiple championships. Will we see a repeat again? Of Jericho. Drink it in, man. 5,000 bit donation dropping bombs. Hip hip. All right, thank you for that. Taking an outstanding lead is Slyco. We only have a few more episodes in February. With that lead, Sly, you will be booking the Hall of Fame unless someone dethrones you. Probably favorite MXG entrance and song. Let's hope he does, yeah. Thank you, Sly. Mini hip hip hooray for that. So again, episode 299 is what you guys are all fighting for, booking with this month's prize. Do you want to book the Hall of Fame? Do you want to pick who gets entered into the Hall of Fame this year? Well, Sly, they're the person to beat. And right now we're competing for the vacant Twitch Championship. Sly, of course, the stream boss right now with Dr. Orr in his corner. And MX. On the other side of the equation, big forearm strike kicking things off into a lockup and again to a back hold there. And slamming him down to the mat. Anita follow. What's up, Nakata? 
How you doing? Again, reach out to me if you have storylines you want to cook up. I gotta know these things so I can help choreograph and make Acumania happen for you guys. I want to feature amazing matches this year, just like every year. We have stories to tell, so let's tell them. If you need help, don't be afraid to ask others. We're a community. We're working together to make this the best show. And we're working together to get rid of Cross and the Foundation controlling the show. And that's why I'm here again, continuing to do what I do. Ultimately, it got me suspended for a night, but I'm back. Not competing tonight, but that's all right. Carb stomp from Sly. Cross is competing tonight. He'll be facing off against Irob who has been waiting anxiously to get his hands on Cross. Right hand blocked with a strike back of his own. MX back in the ring, scoops him up. Reversal, Sly in control. Oh, incredible maneuver there. Oh, this war, trust me. You're on the wrong side of the war now, my friend. Your control is coming to an end. And I promise my people here, that will be the result. And that is a spoiler. MX setting up Sly there, or as a distraction, pinfall here. The distraction served well. He gave up the pinfall. And look at him mouthing off now, saying Dr. Orr needs to respect the rules of the match here and have some decency like MX does. He is Mr. Decency. Nothing but respect from MX. And as you can see, the cheating continues here. Dr. Ward tossing a chair into the ring. Referee has not seen it yet. I mean, that's right, Batman. I'm on the right side. Villain Club refusing to take sides. They are their own side of the equation. Sly here. Dirt in the face of MX. Incredible aerial move. Utilizing the ropes while into a pinfall combination there. Kicks out. And one the referee finds the chair. Dumps it out of the ring. MX going up. High risk move here. Misses the crown as Sly rolls out of the way and back up to his feet. Has him up. And what is this? Nice move there from Sly. Got a few good shots. You won't be here for long enough to do grab any good. Ah, please. Must I remind you, Foundation, that DNA owns NAW. You may run the talent around here, but Mr. Marky B runs you and he could shut this down in an instant especially if ratings continue to decline like they have under your regime locker room satisfaction has been in an all-time low because of your antics so your approval rating is not great Nice forearm strikes here from MX into a Pele kick. Down goes Sly. A roll up though. And kicks out. How do you redeem strands? A uh, nerd cred for a grudge match. And that got to participate in the poll too. Uh, every week we put up a brand new poll and you get to add matches or vote on matches. And if enough people speak and pick that one, that match can happen also. <laughs> Show 35, thank you for the follow. I thought you already followed us. Is this a new count? Welcome back, though, nonetheless. Marky owns a small part of DNA, whereas we own all of Gnaw. I guess you don't understand business, my friend. Bloody busted open is MX pinfall from Sly. Twitch Championship on the line. Sly and Villain Club pick up the win here for the Twitch Championship. 
Yeah, I did not get booked today. Uh, nerd cred, there is one, not the strands. And also, like I said, uh, the poll is another option. So if you go to our social media page, add a match to the poll on the next poll that we post. We do so every week. I'll post one tomorrow for next week. It should be match challenge or grudge match or something of that sort. There you go. Book an NAW match. Thanks. I couldn't remember what we named it. Thank you, Locke. New Twitch champion, what's up, Storm? Psycho Hunter. Ah, basically a grudge. I couldn't remember what I named it. Congratulations, Sly. You are the Twitch champion. And our next contest here, Colossus taking on Rated. And let me know if anyone has any issues with uh, connections. I've been working on the network to see if I can fix anything as well as settings. We'll see though. Match two, Colossus Rated. Backstage assault happening. I guess we're not Having this in the ring. These two have a war to sort out. Colossus planning, raided down on the cement floor there. He strikes back. So lagging. Anyone else experiencing any lag tonight on here? One short delay. And it's still not a good sign. And yeah, I'm going to have to contact Xfinity. Cause I've done everything I can on my computer. I've done everything I can in OBS. And reset my router several times this week. So, I don't know what else to do. I don't think it's anything on my end. I think it's... It's their stuff. Dingle, dingle, dingle. Thanks for the host, Nakata and I, Rob. Yeah, we'll we'll see. I appreciate you guys' patience uh, so far with the show. We'll figure out connectivity issues. We'll sort it out. Don't worry. It might take some time, as Trevor put it. You don't think it's on my end? No, you think it's an issue with Xfinity? Yeah. Super annoying, super frustrating, but we're doing the best we can here, and I appreciate you guys' patience and sticking with it. I truly do. Tag title shot for Shame and Trevor. You got it. Or Twitch. You know, I'm not certain if it is Twitch. It could be. Uh, who knows, though? What kind of match is the main event tonight? An elimination match. Five-man elimination. Heading out towards the parking area backstage here. Your Xfinity starts spiking the past few days? Like having issues as well? There we go, IROB. Number one contendership redemption. No, it's just a standard MX, just the standard five man elimination. Chair in hand, a fight continues here backstage. Off to, oh God, the brick wall there. Five hundred bit donation, hip hip hooray! Thank you for that, Sly. Appreciate it. 
taking a commanding lead now in first with 5-9-9-0. Over 4,000 ahead of rated here. We still have a lot left in February though. Keep in mind, those totals, you can donate during any of our shows, whether it's me, Kevin, Locke, Andrea, it doesn't matter who is live. You can redeem during any of those and it adds towards your total and the ultimate prize again is at the conclusion of the month. In addition to that, you can also redeem nerd cred and strands during any program. It doesn't matter who is streaming. So if you want to hop in, say hey, and then do a redemption, you can do that. I check them almost every day, just in case. And match cards are subject to change. So you could end up joining a match the day before if you weren't even originally booked in that match. Oh no, off the electrical panel. Oh God, don't do it Raiden. We've seen this before. Oh, how shocking. The loss is, has got to be hurt. And no IROB cross coming up soon. Still yet to happen tonight. Oh my, what is he doing? Oh, Raiden just demolishing Colossus here. Jumping off the case there. The equipment box. Good lord. His foot was stuck in the door. God. Look at this, there's no pinfall rated. Yeah, I don't know how he's still conscious. This man is a beast. And he's yeah. still fighting back. How is he overcoming all this damage? Oh, uh, where are we going now? Hey, we're in Cross's office. A briefcase. Abyss gets stronger when he bleeds. Colossus apparently does too here. There's the desk of Cross over there. Oh my god. Colossus just took out Raided. How the hell did he come back? Unreal. Well, there you have it, your winner of match two. He says, yes, point. Damn, DK 2-0 tonight. <laughs> the hell was that? Anyways, match three, exclamation point, match three, Lee Yamashita against Jordan Cho in a submission match. Get your votes in now. Does Raiden made a mistake by electrocuting the Shockmaster? Apparently. So get your votes in now, match three, Lee Yamashita or Jordan Cho. Submission rules. Here we go, we're heading down to the ring. Back him into the corner, chop block, takedown, Cho goes down. 
Stomping him out. Back of the head to the mat there. Lee in control of this match. Stomping his hand now. Again, this is submission rules. No pinfalls. The only way to win is to make them quit. Make your opponent quit, that is. Can Lee do it? Oh, he's tapping, though. He's tapping. The ref not counting that one. I don't know. I think Jordan tapped there. What do you guys think? Oh, back to his feet very quickly was Lee there. That was weird. Fireman's carry reversal. DK says he tapped. I think so, too. Plants him down now, face first into the mat. Batman says tap for sure, see? I don't know. Into another hold. Indeed a submission specialist here. It doesn't matter Lost. It was three. I saw it. Three taps? <laughs> I guess that applies there. That works, right? He needs to learn some manners. Wearing down his opponent's leg there. Wearing him out in general. That is a great way to make your opponent submit. Oh my goodness. Look, like, look at this. Break. Referee breaking that up. He was in the ropes. Batman says finish him. Another hold applied. Can he get to the ropes? He lets go of that one. I don't know if it was a rope break, but he let go of that hold. Working on the knee. He is just tearing his legs apart piece by piece. The icon fights back. Kick to the midsection. Choke coming alive in this match. Finally, a brain buster there. Rated says, how did I lose? I don't know, man. You tell me. You watched the same thing we watched. And here we go. Lee again working on the legs with another dragon screw. Man. Another hold here. Will he submit? No, he fights out of this one. He tapped on his thighs to Cody. I think it's a conspiracy rated. Strike to the knee. Fights out of that. Cho misses. Oh, but catches him from the back of the head there. Into a hold of his own. Will Lee submit? No. Slaps his hand, breaks out of that hold. Cross liking the fight in the icon. That misses Lee has won this fight four times now. And that is the official win as the icon taps. Lee Yamashita is your winner. MX says, Lee, get him medical help. It's broken. He broke his, he broke his leg, he says. Some highlights here. Send medical attention. Show the good sportsmanship with the GG. As Lee celebrates. Congratulations, Lee. Big victory tonight in the Open Challenge. Will the Open Challenge continue for Lee?
and who will step up next? And here we go, the match that IROB has been anxiously awaiting, Adrian Cross against IROB version 4. Get your votes in now. Exclamation point, match 4 already. We still have three more amazing championship matches happening here tonight, so don't go anywhere. And there are multi-individual matches, so they should be fantastic. Cross says, you happy? You finally get to face me. I'm not. You're wasting airtime of other actual talents that should be booked, Mr. Cross. But that's fine. I'd be happy to watch a former partner of mine beat your ass and get a win over you that's all I'm rooting for clothesline here is the bigger man I should put that in quotes stomping out the face of IROB backed him into the corner nobody puts IROB in the corner Almost looked like he was setting up a surfboard there. I put the kid over. So thinking he put the kid over, he had good sportsmanship, but now he's getting cocky. I don't know. I think that rivalry is just beginning. Cross says, IROB has never beat me. So I wouldn't expect it to happen tonight. This could be a big night for IROB. Momentum he needs as we're closing in on the biggest show of the year. And IROB trying to make a name for himself again this year. Especially for the name that was made for himself last year around this time. Sorry about that. Off the rope knee. The kid over. Knee to the side of the head there. Oh, but Cross comes back with a kick. Begging Irob to stand as he lands another forearm straight into a pinfall. And a one count, that's all we're getting out of that one. Good try, sir. Have you met IROB? He's resilient. Strike to the side there. Ooh, crosses, uh-uh, he saw that coming. He jumped out of the way of that kick. I was really hoping the ref would see that. Because personally, now there's no turn. I was hoping the ref would see that. The referee didn't call it. I'm not helping out Cross. I was hoping the ref would see it. And he didn't. I wanted Cross in the record books to have a loss against IROB. That was the motive there. For a reason, 10 years in the game, win or lose. I was not helping out Cross. I wanted a disqualification with IROB as the victor, but the referee didn't let that happen. The foundation is paying off the refs. For a reason, 10 years in the games, in it, lose, win or lose. 
Are we back live? So I can explain myself. If we're back live, let me explain myself. I was not helping out Cross. My actions were to give IROB a disqualification victory. I am not helping Cross. Again, let the record show. I was trying to get him a win over Cross in the record books. That was the plan. It was not to attack IROB. I was helping him out, to be honest. But clearly the foundation has paid the referees off to make this match continue with no disqualification. When that is clearly not the rules here. Uh, there's no swerves happening. I'm telling you what is happening. No. The referee was supposed to see me attack IROB, disqualify IROB, Give IROB the win in the record books over Cross. But again, the foundation has paid off the officials here. So the match has to continue. So here we are. That's fine, I guess. Back body drop on the apron there. The hardest part of the ring. Mind-blowing swerve. No, why the hell would I help Cross out? No way in hell. Would help a man that just takes from you all? No. Sure, he pays me. But I would not help him. We're at six. Could we have a count out in this match? We're at seven. Ira dump back into the ring. Cross to follow. At least I don't have a rigged card in my back pocket and I'll lose win or lose. You attacked Ira and what better way to cover your tracks and say you attacked him to help him? So we're creating our own narrative here, that's fine. He could say, do that or you're fired. It's true. That was not the intention. I explain myself. I've been transparent. I am a man of the people here. I'm helping us all. Again, he dodges that sweep. Chop from Irob in the corner. Another. Oh, he blocks that one, though. Oh, God. Into a cross face. It is your fault. You're paying off the officials now. Oh! I thought the ref was... Did you see that? The ref was waving it off. He was considering disqualifying IROB. Did you see that? I don't know, IROB. You have control right now. Will that be enough? Then fall attempt to follow. With a win over the MEW champion. Back 
Cody says, I Rob is greater than Cross. Sly cheering on I Rob. A big victory here for I Rob. Colt watching that match very closely as he is the number one contender next week for the NEW Championship. What does that mean? I guess we'll find out next week, huh, Cross? <laughs> That's amazing. Our next contest here is for the DNA Championship, which is vacant at the moment. Sly, Camden, Smiles, and Rated gets your votes in now. It is time for the DNA Championship. I Rob vs. Goss for the title. I don't know, Colt's number one contender. Should we make it a triple threat? What do you think, Colt? Does I Rob deserve a shot? It's a big win for him. I think he deserves a shot, but that's just me. Get the hell and welcome out of back here. to the Smile Show. Is what he would say if he was here, but nope, yeah. just me. Now, down to ah. business. You said last week that great rivalries are when two people hate each other, like Sasuke and Naruto, Goku and Vegeta, cats and cucumbers, dogs and the mailman. I don't know about you, but they all look like they get along really well to me. And it's just something or someone holding them back. <coughs> Trevor. Uh, he jumped me from behind, but still couldn't keep me down. I mean, let's be real, Smiles. You seem like you've been the real leader of Villain Club. Clearly the only one with a voice besides Shane. Shame! Uh, hi. I'm Shame. I mean, let's run down the list, okay? Sly is getting help already with a therapist who will clear his head up real quick with what's right and what's wrong. Shame is, well, shame. And he's just a big fan of yours and he looks up to you and he'll find his way to make the rainbow hearts fly again. And Crow? Well, while she might be scary, she's really got a nice and sweet and sensitive side to her. A nudge to her would lead to huge things, even bigger than anything she's ever accomplished, including being a former general manager under my dad when he was commissioner, who handpicked her to be management, if I might add. She's got some sort of connection to me right there. And now to you, Smiles. How is nobody seeing your obvious cries for help besides me? It's honestly breaking my heart weekly seeing you struggle so much trying to fight back. I mean, does nobody see that Smiles is trying to ruin his own show and confuse that second face by struggling to sing Family Feud? <laughs> or cutting the feed to iCarly? or even noticing the signs behind you weekly that are visible signs that we need to help you. Nope, they just laugh like you are some sort of joke. But there are some who notice your struggle and we're coming to help you. And to answer your challenge for capital combat, I'll be there. And let's make it a falls count anywhere match with Villain Club banned from the entire arena so I can finally meet you one-on-one -on -one for me to get those kids out of this terrible path that they're on and back to their former glory 
anyone else notice that they have a world-class tag team but insist on having singles competitors fight for the tag team titles? Reminds me of something. Oh well, see you all soon. Bye! Well, get your votes in now. This is the DNA Championship match. And, uh... Don't know what's going on in the connection. It's shit again, so stick with us. This is just... just the new normal now, I guess. For my internet. Pay for gigabit, and this is what we get. So I'll be contacting Xfinity tomorrow. Because this is some bullshit. Every single night. Camden King here has a tough fight ahead of him. Will he reclaim the DNA Championship? We'll find out. Three tough individuals will face off against him, including two from Villain Club. Yes, we do need to schedule one of those. I gotta figure out my internet first before I'm doing anything else. If I can't get this sorted out tomorrow, I might not be doing a show tomorrow. So. No point in streaming if it's constantly having issues. To the top, oh yeah. I am the queen. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. yeah me Slyco see. 88. Yeah. Let Trevor run what? And his opponent. First, from area 51, weighing in at 207 pounds, the captain. If my internet sucks, I can't be on it regardless. <laughs> Regardless who runs it. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah, it's an incredibly rough week. I'll be on the phone tomorrow with the internet service provider because this is bullshit. Every single day this week, we pay for fucking gigabit download, and this is what we get. I can't even stream 25 megabyte upload. Like, this is stupid. They better fix this shit. Especially if they want my paycheck. Ha! Huh. 
They ain't gonna care about that. Jira, no, this is frustrating as fuck. I understand one night. This is four nights. This is unacceptable. I think this is the worst streak of issues I've had since I fucking started streaming. And from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 324 pounds, The Punisher. Now where is Ty? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the show. Glad to have you. Stick with us. You've been having connection issues tonight, but we're doing our best. Hi, Rob. She might have to call. The count's in her name. He went home and is napping? Uh oh. DNA Championship four way match. First pinfall or submission will win this. And that's what it's for. King smiles. Sly and rated. Who will walk out as champion? There we go. Rated and smiles pair off. Well, uh, Camden. And Sly pair off. Both King and Rated. Oh, is this a throwback? Is this an Empire vs. Villain Club a throwback? Interesting throwback. Unintentional throwback here. Yes, one fall. First pinfall or submission in this one. Going out of the ring, both members of Villain Club. That makes complete sense. Chaos to come. Both have a kendo stick and a sledgehammer while Rated turns his attention to King and pays for it with the kendo stick from Smiles. Smiles now and King... Finally getting their hands on each other in this one. Kick to the midsection. King now in control. Smiles will rate it. It's just out. He's laid out on his back here. Handfall attempt. And two. Lock, are you still with me? One thing I wanted to point out about my connection is the kill bits per second is what's been dropping. I have not dropped a single frame during this broadcast. Chaos ensues in chat as well. Look at that. It's Madness King going out to ringside. Smiles and King. Imagine if you had spelled <laughs> That would be chaos. Am I right? Rated is over there just watching the match. Just choosing not to be involved for whatever reason. Face first off the apron goes sly. Rated off the ring post there. Smiles and sly. 
Yeah, Ray, I don't know what's going on with Ray. Smiles and Sly battling now. I know this is all against all. Oh, making Cam famous. Into a collar and elbow hold there. Cam fighting out of it. Dumps King into the ring, smiles to follow. Rated and Sly doing that on the outside. Big kick though from Smiles to Cam. And a pinfall to follow. Two count on King. Rated back into the ring here. Tells Cam to suck it and then he clotheslines Smiles. Rated with a bad attitude. Pinfall attempt. Broke it up. Mark Simpson. Is he eating shorts? Working on the leg now. Into a stunner. King down. Two count there. Up and over and out of the ring goes Rated Sly to follow, King to follow, right behind him. And a forearm strike, Sly dumped back into the ring. Face off the apron is King rated now in control. Smiles. Here's the thing. Why doesn't Villain Club work together since it's the first fall or submission? Just pin your partner. And just walk out with the belt. Smiles with a pinfall on Sly. Here's where you just give him the win. Two count. Why would you kick out? That's not chaos. Rated in the ring now, breaking them up. Where's the chaos in that? Sly holding his head, he looks hurt there. Smiles with a pin on Sly again. Broken up by King, who is back in the ring. Nice slam there, Smiles celebrating. Over King. As their rivalry continues here in this match. Big kick. King down. Right it with a stunner attempt. Sly rolls it away out of that one. Right hand to follow though. Ooh. The face there. What is he doing? He fights through that. Smiles getting antsy here as King stands. Code breaker from Rated. Into a pinfall attempt. Smiles breaking. No. Yeah, there he goes. Broke that one up. Miles with the flag hooked. And again, what is happening right now? And again, King goes down with that one. Crossfire. What is happening? And again, attempt after attempt after attempt. Two count. That was chaos. A stunner, though. First smiles and down he goes. Will Sly interrupt or will King get back in? Two count only after all of that effort. Powerbomb pinfall from King. Can he reclaim? He will not. Two count there. Submission broken up. Rated looks like he's in pain. 
Raiden is exhausted. King the only one standing here. He's deciding to go after Smiles, the obvious choice here. When he had an opportunity to just finish the match, he does not want to. He wants to inflict pain on Smiles. Dumped out of the ring. Raiden is just completely exhausted. Crowd booing here as no one is in the ring. Sly stuck in the middle. Oh, nasty fall there. Raiden dumped in the ring. King to follow. Contemplating doing something horrible with the sledgehammer. King can't do it. He can't be awful like his father. Nice suplex there, though. King with a pinfall attempt. Sly breaking that one up. Powerbomb pinfall. Sly. Slyco walking out with the DNA Championship now too. Wow. Villain Club chaos continues. The damn power bomb indeed. When we post our next poll rated, make sure you add that to the poll. Sly has two belts here tonight. Here is your winner and new wrestling champion, Psycho Hunter. Is champ champ. And that's right, Cody. Sometimes you don't need titles to tell stories. Something WWE fails to understand in the modern days. Four and one, not bad. Not bad at all. Women's NAW Championship coming up next. Four individuals locked inside Steel Cage. Becca, DKA, Absent, and Selena Storm. Get your votes in now. This is exclamation point match six. Still to come, five men competing for the NAW Championship in an elimination match. And that's our main event right after this one. Get your votes in now, though, for match six. And stick with us. And we apologize for the numerous commercial breaks during this program tonight. We will get that fixed sometime soon, hopefully. Until then, I appreciate you guys support and sticking with us. Appreciate it, MX. What's today's date though, my friend? And when do I get updates? Get your votes in though for this one. Match six. Oh, yeah. NAW number one contendership for Camden. Camden. <laughs> Just giving you shit, MX. Giving you shit. But that is the rule. The first of the month, unless I do have a chance to get your updated characters. And uh, if I do get a chance, you guys know I do. But in all honesty, between training for my new job and messing with my computer, OBS, and uh, the router this week, I haven't had much time to do anything. So, according to the count of Villain Club, change that address is the first of the month. Ha! I mean, it is 1 1, right? I just honestly haven't had a chance to try to fix this shit. So.
Here we go, Steel Cage returns for this NAW Women's Championship match. Who will walk out as champion? Shout out to Streamlabs for Emsley shitting on your strands. Is it, is it not working still? Locke, are you here? Did you apply the recent stuff? I think Locke left. Five bit donation from Selena Storm. Hip hip hooray, thank you for that. DK says the greatest entrance ever. Oh, Locke, I asked you a question earlier. I don't know if you heard me or unless I missed your response. So, Locke, riddle me this. And it's going out again, so I'll wait until my connection is back and stable. Because it's still dropping. It's all over the fucking place. How oh, lovely. Locke, can you hear me? So, Locke, the question I had earlier, and I don't know what this means, but um, the bit rate has been all over the place tonight, obviously, and it drops. But the drop Making frame count has stayed at zero tonight after some floor. of the adjustments I made. What does that mean? Yes, I'm using variable bit rate. But before Walmart has better. <laughs> I mean, I would hope so. It's a, it's, a, it's a chain that has more money than I have. So why is that the problem? I changed to that and I haven't dropped any frames. So that has had nothing to do with fixing or making worse as far as the stream dropping. The way I had it before, drop frames. So now I'm not dropping frames, but the bit rate's all over. Right, but that's what I'm saying. On the OBS side, I dropped frames before. Walmart. I ain't going to Walmart. No, thank you. I'm just curious what other settings that I can adjust. Because, I mean, all signs point to the ISP and not my own hardware. Because it's either Twitch or it's the ISP. Marbles? No. I still think it's the ISP. So, Locke, if you were making the call, and Trevor and Kevin, when you guys had to make the call, how did you explain it so they understood without having them just tell you to reset the damn router? 
Because I know that's what they're going to tell me to do. It's basically a Marvel race for your stream viewers. Well, that sounds fun. I just don't know how periodically throughout my day I can on Wi-Fi get four to five hundred gigabit download speeds and then that's Kevin yeah and then literally later I get like six six megabyte Yeah, it depends on who I get, though, when I call. That's the other problem. I know customer support, and it's generally incompetent. They don't pay those people enough, and they don't require enough skill and experience to do those jobs. You can also make a race with a certain number of marbles representing different things like giveaway entrance and shit. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Priority number one is making sure I can stream consistently again. So. I'll definitely look into that though. Our last competitor entering this match for the vacant women's championship, Selena Storm here. Selena is uh, still in chat, or was here tonight, Savage Selena Storm. Rated cheering on Storm. I mean, the tickets are fun. Go Storm. And honestly, it's not that tedious now. I get a system that takes me like 20 minutes. So it's, it's not so bad at all. Here we go. Women's Championship on the line here for Woman Cage Match. DKA. Absinthe. Becca. And Storm. Roadbreaker to start things off against DKA. Uh, one fall, submission, escape are the rules for this one. Yes. Let's see who survives. Okay, and a hold on Becca there on the left. Meanwhile, Absinthe with a big bomb to Storm. Storm with the takedown back to Absinthe here. Storm attempting escape on the right. DK halting that progress. strike there from Becca to Absinthe while DK works on Storm now. Codebreaker to Absinthe, DKA, elbow drop. Becca scaling the cage in the corner there. Uh, she's turning her attention back and incredible 450 splash there. DK says DK doesn't have a good record in cages. Veteran Chambers, this could be their night. Back is setting up absent now. Nasty pile driver. Oh. 
Cross stripped all the titles. We still never got to see the day. You, you, it, you see how incredibly difficult it is to have the same people not winning titles. It's because more of you need to redeem for opportunities. If it's the same four, it's going to be the same four winning titles. He gazes back and did a supernova. Seems like Beck is doing a lot of uh, things that somebody else does. DKA setting up absent for something here. Oh, absent <laughs> reverses it. But DK back with the clothesline. Becca now going up top. Again with a 450. It's morphin' time since DK. Slyko with the chair up on the shoulders of Absent and the strength into a pinfall. Broken up by Becca. That's true, awesome. MX. That's true. A copycat, I like it. Absent trying to get footing on the cage here. Oh, dilly yeah. dilly. You can't have none of that awesome. though. Bringing Absent back in, or trying to. Absent fighting as she gives up on the scaling to continue her assault on DKA. Look at the strength. Man, incredible strength there. Pinfall attempt, broken up by Storm. Up on the shoulders of Absinthe, and down. Pinfall attempt, Storm breaking that up. DKA, scaling the cage. I hate your guts! Absinthe scaling, scaling the cage. Storm breaking up that attempt from DKA though. Storm contemplating what to do next, going around the bodies in the cage. Absent dump back in. Storm now taking their attempt. Respect. Awesome. Oh, landed right on Absent there. DK calling out. Morphin time. Oh, catches Absent with the clothesline. Into a pin, will this be enough for DKA? Two count. The match continues. Supernova. Supernova. Hurting themselves a hold though from Storm here. DK breaking that up, we almost had a submission. Oh, DKA was trying to steal the show. Storm recognizing the escape attempt from DKA. That's ended off this heel structure. Goes Storm. Elbow strike from Absinthe. Caught. Reverse DKA. Misses. Big uppercut while pinfall is happening. Broken up. Hey, better late than never. That's what I've said before a couple times, I think. Those line exhausted is absent here. Pinfall attempt are broken up. Oh, leverage pin, but let's go for whatever reason. Not sure why Storm scaling the cage. Absent heading over as Storm struggles to get her footing. Oh my, up on the shoulders. Down into electric chair. Why you keep booing me? What I do? Just calling the matches. Back to trying to escape. Stopped. And heads back into the ring. Up onto the shoulders, DKA. Storm goes down. A 
And pinfall attempt from DKA. And Becca breaks that up. Oh my, look at a round. Jeez. Everybody down except for DKA. DKA just watching though. What are you waiting for? And strikes here. DK was just watching the match. I, I'm really uncertain what the motive was there. Powerbomb pinfall storm. We have a submission happening at the same time. Broken up though. Ring awareness from Becca. Oh God. Up over in the ropes, but there's nowhere to go but steal. Becca now setting something up. Lycos's match of the night. Up on the shoulder, down goes back. Oh my god, the spinning. And the spinning. Broken up pinfall. Oh, misses the drop kick. Paying for it is absent. DKA in control again. Kick to the midsection. Mud hole stomping. Sly says this is one of the best episodes they've ever seen. Minus the commercial breaks. <laughs> Up top, Galaxy to Galaxy landed while Storm is making their escape. We're having highlight reel material from DKA. Uh oh, could Storm get out of this cage? Or will Becca stop them? Becca stopping Storm. Will Storm fight back? A fight happening. In a very bad spot. Storm getting dragged back in. Meanwhile, DK and Absent fighting. And a fight on the ropes here in a very dangerous spot. DK with another. Supernova landed effectively. Pinfall to follow. DKA has a chance. DKA picks up the win. And that is another title for DKA to their resume. For the individual that said they are not great in cage matches. They are tonight. Five and one for Sly. Four and two for DKA. Keep in mind, the individual with the most correct votes at the end of this month will be booking the first show for March Madness. Congratulations on your victory here. Taking a moment to celebrate another championship win for DKA. One title away from winning every title, and I'm number one contender for the last one. As mentioned, DKA needs an opponent for that Twitch championship that is awaiting them. The opportunity to win every single title. You get to book a show in March, I'd like to book March 11th because that is your birthday. What day of the week is that? But the queen will There you go, number one contendership for Alyssa. I am the queen. Our main event of 291. That's right. 291. Bent 
Rated, MX, Profit, Shame. Get your votes in now. This is your main event. Is DK missing teeth? I hope not. <laughs> so get your votes in now. This is for the NAW Championship. Somebody is walking out. One of these five is walking out. Your new NAW Champion. And get your votes in now. Again, this is the main event of the show. Versus Let's Go Shame. And then I'll keep you guys posted on if I'm playing anything tomorrow. I gotta figure out this internet situation. And then um, we'll keep you posted too if there's anything over the weekend. As far as it being Valentine's Day weekend, I don't know what everyone is doing. So I can't guarantee there will be streams. But what I do know, Sunday night, there is an NXT pay-per-view. So check that out. MX says, I would like back what I never lost. So get your votes in now. This is your main event for 291. Nine episodes left until 300 Acumania. Lord, hopefully the internet is fixed by then. That would be a month that's six weeks. Please let it be fixed by then. Can't be doing this. Big shame, but I'd love for your buddy Ben to get it. This could be their night. Shame wins, Villain Club cleaned up tonight. But possible. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 269 pounds, MX Goldman. If you get top votes for the month, can you book Thursday, March 11th? I think that's fair. You just change your the one that you get. The birthday bash. Three eleven, huh? That's a good band too. It's, it's a, a fun date to have a birthday. I remember last year we were doing Thanks Andrew Lama scared stiff, and you were counting down, and then talking about your twenty-first. The prophet has returned, falling short to Colt two nights ago. Will they walk out as NAW champion here tonight, though? We'll find out. Yep, that's okay. Two and a half hours, two days is terrible. Get your ass to sleep. Uh, no, MX. Actually, that's not how it'll be working. Um, what will happen? Unless that makes more sense, what do you guys think? What I had planned is... The individual for this month that has the most correct votes will work the first show. The individual at that next show that has the most votes, just that one show, will book the next one. And then I'll continue on for the first four. So if there are ties during a show, you have, you're have you forced to work together to book a show. I, I kind of like that chaos. Right, the ties, that's what I'm saying. People work together. I'm almost villain club-ish. I like the chaos of that. We could have four people booking one show. Correct. That's the fun of it. It's giving more people an opportunity too.
I'd love to see four people trying to work together to book a show. That'd be incredible. You don't work well with others? Well, if you're forced to, you have no choice. <laughs> Inner circle cast, exactly. Where you happen, of course. I'd rather have a bunch of people working together to book a show than the same person booking all of the shows for the first four of the month. To give variety and shake things up. It also forces you to tune in. Whereas if it's just based on this month's votes, what's the point of tuning in for the first four episodes? There's no incentive there. And bombs tonight is sly hip hip hooray thank you for the 2000 bit donation that is incredible you have extended your lead to 7990 a commanding lead and at this point almost a sure bet that sly Cole will be booking the hall of fame this year hall of fame villain club style that is a scary thought 299 for you sir start thinking about what you want now because the way it's looking is it's gonna be yours No, I get what you're saying, MX. You came in third place, you booked the third show. I, I, I get what you're saying, but again, if that's set, then there's no incentive for people to show up for the first four shows, because they already know who are booking the first four shows. And from the weighing in at 333 pounds. Slide Jay from the whole stimmy. <laughs> well, we appreciate the donations. If you guys didn't see on social media too, uh, the dosage is returning. A week from next week, Tuesday, so about whatever, what is that, 12 days? 12 days from now, uh, the dosage returns. Locke and I will be discussing the launch of the Xbox Series X and the PS5. During that episode, we'll also be giving away, well, quite a few raffles, actually. We're giving away two match cards Starting in April, that somebody will get to book, two people will get to book. We're giving away your choice of the console's title belt or the Cyberpunk Collector's Edition. And then also for the subs, we're giving away the Last of Us Part 2 Collector's Edition. So a lot to give away during that dosage podcast. And again, that returns 12 days from now. The week of Capital Combat, that Tuesday, there is no NEW. Instead, there is the dosage as we're counting down to Capital Combat that Thursday. So 12 days from now, tune in for the raffle drawings as two individuals are getting opportunities to book cards starting in April. And somebody's getting some real cool stuff from us. So tune in for that. And good luck. And again, it's all because of your generous donations that we continue to be able to give away great prizes like that. But just understand one thing, if you want a console, please understand to be patient. I got super lucky with help from Andrew Alana when the consoles launched, getting my hands on the ones I did. I don't know how lucky we will get this time around, but we will be trying on the daily for the winner, if they choose a console, to get them such console. So, slices I can double for cheese. The fight for donations. Lana first. She must have heard her name. Her ears. 
were ringing, they were tickling. Weird flexes, hey. NAW Championship on the line. It is vacant right now. Who will walk out as the champion? Five individuals competing for that belt. MX. Shame. We don't get to see them all. <laughs> Bent, Rated, and The Prophet as well in this match. Let's find out who is walking out as our champion. Elimination rules is on in this one as Bent goes down hard with the pedigree to start this match. Pinfall attempt from Rated. MX just watching the match. Bent is out. We are down to four. 800 bit donation. Hip hip hooray. Thank you for that, Sly. The Prophet eliminated by Shame. We are down to three. Good lord. This thing is just moving. Rated pinfall attempt on MX. Will this be enough? Two. Kicks out of two. MX still alive. MX says, get the belt back that I never lost. That is his motive here in this one. Rated exhausted. He had a hell of a night already. Big right hand to shame, though. Into a recliner there, smashing on the 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 bag head. I don't know what you call it. Shame, chop to MX. Shame and MX doing battle now. And this is no vacant titles as we want. Well, we're getting close to claiming all the vacant belts. And still to come, the end of this month, brought to you by Rated Capital Combat. Stay tuned for that official match card. Shame it. Ooh, two count there. Three remain still. Who will it be? Leg sweep down goes rated. MX trying to get a pinfall. Can he, though? Shame is down. Rated eliminated. We are down to two. MX and Shame. NAW Championship. Who's it going to be? Shame goes down hard. MX has control. Here's the question, Cody. Is the pay-per-view actually spelled wrong? Capitol or Capitol? An A and O mean two different things. Again, it means two different things. So who, who knows? Going under the ring is shame here. Kendo stick in hand. MX blocks it, reversal. And yes, Trivia Night will be coming back a week from Monday. Not Monday, but a week from Monday. So stay tuned for that. I know, Cody, I know. I know the difference. Maybe it was intentional. Hmm? Maybe that's where the pay-per-view is going to be. Shame here setting things up. Knee to the face, catching him. A lot of people didn't know that. I mean, you're questioning the <laughs> education system of people in this nation. You shouldn't be. It's a shame. A MX Goldman is your new NAW champion. Hitting shame here, reclaiming his championship back. After everything he went through since the Royal Rumble, I suppose it's fitting that he is your champion once again. And a shame I say. 
Things are on the way to being right again here in NAW. And all I can say is you're welcome. I'm fighting for you all. And this is proof. This week has been proof. So Cross, you shouldn't have messed with me. Because Rated, what I want to happen at Capital Combat is I want you to book me in a match against Adrian Cross. I'll work out some specific details on what we should be putting on the line for that match. But that's what I want. That's what the people want. Redis is done, thank you. Me. That is how we do things. Number one contendership for Rated. Yes, comics. Yes. And MX says, oh, oh what? What do you got? Slice says the foundation is over. Too sweet, right? Everybody, too sweet. Your TV, your phone, wherever you're watching. Too sweet. Great match is great promo, 10 out of 10. We're doing the thing, we're doing all the things. Honestly, congratulate yourselves, you guys. You are the reason Naw is great, not the foundation, and especially not Adrian Cross. So thank you all, though. It's been a pleasure being on commentary here at 291. Stay posted to social media as I'm unsure about tomorrow, depending on the consistent me consistency of the internet and what I figure out that. And then stay posted too for whether or not we'll have a show Saturday night and then for our next shows. But again, thank you Sly for the big donations tonight and everyone else that donated as well. And uh, as always, Thank you guys for supporting DNA. I appreciate you all. And uh, be safe out there. Good night, everybody.